All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here, talking real music in real time for some real people just like you and just like me. All right, here, number one, the Michael Thompson Band. This is phenomenal. This could be in my top five for the year. Uh, holy crap, Batman. This is The Love Goes On. I had the chance to hear this uh, about a month or so ago. Uh, had the download from the record label, and I'm telling you folks, uh, these guys have been around for a very long time. A lot of people don't even know who they are. The Michael Thompson Band um, just has a good general AOR, maybe soft rock for some people at times, but uh, truly uh, great harmonies, great vocals, great guitar solos. It's a throwback uh, to a time where, you know, you can hear all the instruments and it's not cookie cutter. Um, these guys have had their own vibe for decades and uh, they're back. Michael Thompson Band, The Love Goes On. Also, don't forget about Modern Retro Radio. It's an internet radio station. I've been telling people about it. It is fantastic, just like this album is. Uh, they play music uh, from yesterday and today. And uh, there's, you know, new stuff by classic artists on there. So that's kind of unusual. So please check it out. Um, they're not as unusual as me in this channel, but hey. Also, want to thank all the people over on Truth Social. Been getting a lot of follows over there. Again, I can't be on Truth Social all day. I'm just stressing this, but I'm over there and I'm posting videos over there. So hopefully... We can get the view totals up a little bit so the channel doesn't completely uh, go under as far as uh, from the financial part of it, since I've lost about half the revenue I once earned, which uh, some of the patrons on Patreon making that up for me to some degree, but uh, it would take another thousand patrons, I think, to make up for what uh, I've lost. Anyway, you know a band who's lost a lot of members? over the last few years, Chicago, they're out on the road. They're doing this sprawling 60 city tour. Um, they're trying to make up for the fact that they were grounded during the thing-demic, and they even did a little documentary about it. And it was a good documentary, except for the fact that they didn't critique any of the shutdowns, the lockdowns. They complained about it, but they didn't critique it. And I think stuff like that really misses an opportunity. It's like, yeah, your livelihood, what you do for the last, what, 50 something years, uh, down the tubes because the government shut everything down. And of course, people were very fearful. So it's the government and the media combining to scare the crap out of people for two years and maybe longer. I go out there and there are still people out there who have to don their facial apparel uh, still. And I'm in a very free state. Imagine like Illinois or New York or, or California. Just, <laughs> I just, I would go crazy. I'd be like, what's this person doing? Why, I'm still seeing them. I'm still seeing them in the car, outside once in a while. Like the air, you just can't breathe air. So anyway, um, Chicago had an opportunity in their documentary to do more than just complain about not being able to earn a living, which is a big problem. But, you know, maybe again, throw a little shade at the people who made these horrible, life-changing, and in some cases, even life-ending decisions to isolate so many people all around the world. But anyway, Chicago is out there on the road, 60 dates scheduled. Tickets are fairly expensive. Chicago has a problem, though. <laughs> and I mentioned this a little bit when I was trying to keep track of who was in the band. Now, the band has changed over quite a bit, and they have this keyboardist by the name of Lauren Gold. Okay, Lauren Gold. Um, he worked with The Who, or he was in The Who, playing keyboards and doing some things, uh, kind of orchestrating. He seems like a really good sort of band leader, um, arranger, that kind of a thing. 
He's in Chicago as the keyboard player. And as far as filling the role left to him by Lou Pardini, who had replaced Bill Champlin, all right? Um, those guys, they had a certain quality, a certain characteristic in their vocals, which made them part of the band. In other words, they found a keyboard player who sounded like Bill. Bill was there to kind of sound like Terry when he first got there. Uh, Cause you needed somebody who could sing uh, that particular vocal part. Um, currently they have nobody in the band who can sound like Terry, who can sound like Bill, who can sound like Lou. And you need that type of voice especially in all those Bill Champlin, Peter Cetera duets from the 80s. Uh, I'm not sure if they're doing anything with Jason and Bill anymore in it. Uh, the point is they don't have a singer who sounds like Lou or Bill or Terry. Lauren Gold is singing these duets with um, uh, Neil Donnell, who is the current lead vocalist. And I got to tell you, it's... it's um, it's real bad. <laughs> I don't have, I'm thinking of a more creative way to say how bad it is. It's just, it's like a cover band goes out there and you've got a guy, again, Danelle can hit any note. As far as him being better than Peter Cetera, this is according to Lee Lochnane. Maybe, uh, I don't know who else said it. I'm pretty sure it was Lee who said, yeah, this guy is better than Peter. <laughs> and it's like, no, no, he's not better than Peter. Uh, Peter will always be the best. And that's not nostalgia bias. Peter is better than Jason. Peter is better than Jeff Coffey. And Peter is better than Neil Donnell. Okay? Now, Jason Chef, to his credit, kind of had his own thing going on. And he was there for so long that uh, you've got a lot of Jason fans out there because Jason had a fairly unique sound as well. But... You know, and, and Jeff Coffey did a, a great job kind of imitating that sound. Uh, Neil Donnell, he's got his own thing. He's not trying to imitate anybody. Um, and he's not bad. He hits all the notes. But it just, to me, this is my humble opinion. Um, you've strayed way too far and done it too many times. Now, the band put out an album with Donnell last year, and it's a good album. It, it is. It's surprisingly good. It's much like uh, Mission to Mars by Styx. I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. And then I listened to it, and I'm like, okay, it's, it's a good album. And Chicago's album last year was really good. But getting back to Lauren Gold, he's the guy who's supposed to sing all the Champlin parts, and they have nobody now to sing those parts, and those parts are really important. I mean, Robert Lamb, I know, takes vocals that... Terry used to sing, like, I don't know, it, uh, Color My World. I know it's weird because they have just various people singing it like it doesn't really matter. They have Lee Lockney singing it from time to time, and he does a pretty good job with it. I mean, at least he's got that voice. You know, he's got a lower voice where he, he can do that stuff. In fact, they may want to employ Lee, except he's a little too busy playing the trumpet to be <laughs> taking over for the Bill Champlin vocal or the Lou Pardini vocal that the band is really missing. Lauren Gold, um, it's not, it just, and honestly, Lauren, I mean, I'm sure you're great in other areas, but this area that they're asking you to be a part of, I think as an arranger, producer, band leader, <laughs> you should be the first one to say, hey guys, Either we get rid of those songs or find someone who can sing them. That's what I would say. But he's a hired hand and he's doing obviously what he's told to do. And uh, maybe they've, they've just run out of options. Now, if you don't want to spend a lot of money to see Chicago, I've got an option for you. You can go see the players. Uh, who are the players? Well, a bunch of ex-Chicago people who are out on the road. Uh, I got to see them... I want to say last November. It was a great concert. Bill Champlin is there. Jeff Coffey is there. Keith Howland is there. If people didn't know, Keith is no longer in Chicago. They've replaced him as well. And they replaced him with a guy who was once uh, in Peter Cetera's band. Um, 
but he doesn't really hold a candle to Keith Howland, who at one point the band even said, hey, this guy reminds me of Terry. Now, if anybody reminds anyone of Terry Kath, that's a really high compliment. And they were saying this about Keith Howland for years. So Keith is out there with Bill and with uh, Jeff Coffey and also with, I think, uh, one member from Earth, Wind & Fire, the drummer. I think it's John Paris. And they put on a great show. They put on a show that is equal to going to see Chicago, in my humble opinion. And you pay about one third the ticket price to go see them. So if they're coming to a neighborhood, they're called the Players. Might have to do some hardcore Googling to find the Players, but uh, just really good. If you're a Chicago fan, uh, and it's just great to see Bill Champlin, 75 years old. He sounds great. He tells a very obnoxious but funny story about the song Look Away. <laughs> um, drops a few F-bombs. Uh, it's, it's just comedy, though. It's, it, you have to be there to kind of understand. And you have to sort of know the song to understand what Bill is trying to say, which I think is even more interesting. So in any event, people, uh, the bottom line, if you're going to go see Chicago and you're going to hear Hard Habit to Break, uh, brace yourselves. It's not going to be good. Hard Habit to Break is going to be a hard song to hear. All right. So I'm just preparing everybody for that with Chicago's uh, 60 dates out on the road. Um, Michael Thompson Band, The Love Goes On. This is super high quality melodic rock AOR music from a band that um, deserved a better fate in life. But uh, they're still producing great music. And for fans of this kind of music, this thing, this album is a must have for 2023. Also, don't forget Modern Retro Radio. Don't forget I'm over on Truth Social and uh, Patreon. If you want to support the channel, people, five bucks, two bucks, whatever it is you want to do. Uh, I'm getting one or two new patrons every day now. So I'm really grateful for that, keeping this channel going, keeping all my quirky, weird commentary uh, on YouTube, hopefully for years to come. Yeah, that would be good. But uh, right now, yeah. I'm hoping that the uh, situation gets better. If you can watch the ads, yeah, do that. I don't know. I spend half the video now talking about all the problems. I wish I could just say, hey, it's me. Here's some music. Enjoy. Um, but we're living in weird, weird times, and uh, I'm part of the weirdness. So enjoy, and <laughs> enjoy the weirdness, and I will see you soon.